In this video, we're going to discover where the formula for finding the volume of a rectangular prism comes from. As we did in our last video where we were discovering the formula for volume of a cylinder, we're going to peel away the sides and focus on the base. And since our base is a rectangle, we're going to look at the area of that base, which is length times width. But rather than assume that we know why area is length times width, let's go back and look at what the length and what the width really represent. So first off, for the length, we can really pick any one of these sides, either the two vertical sides or the two horizontal sides. In this case, I'm going to look at the two vertical sides and I'm going to call them my length. This leaves us with our two horizontal sides, which we will call our width. Let's put some numbers into this formula to give us a little bit of context. First, we'll begin with a length of 2, which means we're essentially going to be cutting this shape, this rectangle, in half horizontally. Because our length has a value of 2, we're going to substitute 2 in for L in our formula. For our width, let's sub in a value of 3. That means we're going to be cutting our shape vertically into three separate pieces. This also means we're going to be substituting a value of 3 for the variable w in our area of a rectangle formula. By counting up the number of unit tiles in our 2 by 3 array in our diagram, or by multiplying 2 times 3 in our area formula, we can see that the area of this particular example is 6 units squared. Taking a look at one more example, if our length is 4 and we divide horizontally the shape into 4 pieces, and then look at a width of 6, dividing the shape vertically by 6 pieces, we're going to get an area of 24 units squared. Now that we've looked at some examples for finding the area of the base, let's take a look at how this will relate to the volume of this rectangular prism. As we saw in the volume of a cylinder video, the area of the base is essentially the volume of this rectangular prism with a height of zero. By increasing the height to one unit, we can see that we now have some volume to this rectangular prism. We can then increase this rectangular prism to a height of two by multiplying the area of a rectangle formula by two, followed by increasing the height to any value by using a variable. In this case, we're going to use the variable h. And thus, the volume of a rectangular prism can be found by multiplying the area of its base times its height, or in other words, taking the length times the width of the base times the height.